And we're rolling, darling. Hi, I'm Chanel. I'm Deborah. And I'm Vanessa. And welcome to We, we Want, Want It All. All. You know us by now. A show about women that just want it all. Career, <laughs> jobs, babies, and money. Todo. That's what we were talking about today. It was like, we were going to talk about something else, but we were doing our makeup, and he, I need to pay this bill, and I need to pay that bill, and he gave me this, and he didn't give me that, and it's just... I realized I made the biggest mistake. I got a divorce and I didn't get anything. Hi, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know better? I know, and I was okay with it. I was like trying to be nice. Ay, pobrecito, he's got, you know, two kids, and now he's got a third one. Uh, no, Pobre. No, I didn't no. get His nothing. fault, not yours. I know, I didn't get anything. What's your issue with money? It, there's never enough. And I party, although I'm with Randy now, but I partied my 20s and my 30s away and I was popping bottles and living in Spain and just woohoo and oh, it away and now fun. but I, yeah, yeah it was fun and I have great memories but now it's like uh oh you know I want a house and I want this and I want that and it's it's there's just never enough even with two salaries but I mean right now you, the partying you're talking about happened a little while ago ma <laughs> so <laughs> what has like what has <laughs> happened you know last three or four years that hasn't inspired you to to save say, money, yeah. It's, it's, I was never, you know, uh, my mother is an artist. She's a sculptor. And she never, I think that's something that sometimes has to be taught when you're I young. Agree. I and agree she too. was yeah. pretty much a free spirit. My mother, she, when she got divorced, she didn't ask for a penny. She left with nothing, right? Like, she was it's, ahead of her time. Yeah, yeah that's hello. A, a she was ahead of her time. Absolutely. But I would think as old school women would probably not ask for money. I think it's the new school women that want to ask for money and say, I want half. Well, no, yeah, well, it depends. No, I mean, she had a little girl and she left yeah. without anything. I mean, back then that didn't really. That she just, I think she case. just wanted to get away. Right. Right. <laughs> what about your mom? Did she give you advice at all on money or how was she with her money? Well, you know, she was actually very good with her money, and um, I went through the same thing as you, you know, at the beginning, kind of spending frivolously and traveling and just kind of enjoying life, and then it got it kind of rolled into, as I rolled into my 30s, started realizing that, it, especially in this economy, that saving, you know, is important, and, uh, and so I wouldn't say I have a lot of money saved, but I definitely am, you know. But you're also very creative with your money and how you get your things. Because <laughs> yes. then, my, you know, I also, going back to the thought that I got a divorce and I didn't get any money, it's like, well, how much money or how much are we as women willing to get from men? And some people, I won't say any names, <laughs> have friends that don't even have benefits, but she likes and are actually willing to pay for extravagant trips and gifts. Well, I'm absolutely okay with it. Well, first of all, it was a birthday gift. Right? It was a Who birthday, was right? Turn away a birthday gift. No, 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 no. That's absolutely rude. My mother told me. Yes, <laughs> she taught you well. You don't turn away birthday gifts. So, so well mannered. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this was a birthday gift by someone that's a very dear friend that I care for very much. Uh -huh. So that you know, it wasn't like I was you know I don't like him and I'm you know sucking him dry for his money. Did I just Are really you say sucking that? him <laughs> at I all? Did really I just say that? I you did. But we'll move <laughs> on. Wait a minute, wait. That's key, though. What right. you just said is mm -hmm. key because a good friend of ours did say recently, you know, as long as you like that person, it's okay. It's when you don't like him that it's an issue and that's when you're a hoochie mama. Right. Right. And I guess the fact that you're not married, he's not married or in a serious relationship right. also. And at the end of the day, I'm very happy putting down money for dinner. Like, you know, it's my turn. We, you know, or we chip in together. It's mommy, mommy, like mommy, 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 mommy. Mommy. Nobody's judging. Dinner. <laughs> dinner. Dinner. I mean, okay, dinner. Dinners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I paid for a lot of dinners okay. to get, you know, to justify getting. But I don't judge you. I do not judge you. No one should judge you. And and I guess I need to learn a little bit from the both of you. What have you ever done for like? What's the craziest thing you've ever done for money? I've worked. At, Worked at crazy jobs in New York when I was single. I I was I That's worked mom's for. That's telling me something. <laughs> and there was a time there that I was an operator, phone operator. A phone <laughs> operator. Okay, that wouldn't be a nine one one phone operator. No. No. <laughs> it was more like. <laughs> you were an. She used the word 475, operator. Four seventy five. A minute operator. Four seventy. <laughs> for no. the first three minutes. Chanel. <laughs> No te creo. Well, it wasn't yeah. my fault. I was 
working at a company on Fifth Avenue in New oh, York. Okay, 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 <laughs> Fifth Avenue. Okay, high end, high, high end. end, high end, high end. Are you sure high it wasn't more like ten dollars yeah. a minute or something? Sorry, mom. Chanel. That's something she still doesn't know. You know, and she you know what's funny? Know I'm sorry. I have to interrupt the both of you. I just find the more and more time I spend with these two, I realize, believe it or not, especially for those that know me and my work, I am conservative. <laughs> these women are out of their minds. <laughs> I am so conservative. <laughs> but at the end of the I day, have we're like, talking about saving money here and, 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 and budgeting well, so you have to be a little bit of creative. You know, yeah, creative. obviously, because I haven't. That you do that, you know, I, I need young, to learn. Too, no, but events. maybe I should, like, Go and create a Fifth Avenue here on Miami Beach no, and do. Uh, no, no, no. I think it's fun. I only did it for a little while because it, it's just not fun. But but okay. the reality of it is, we all want to learn. You know, I do have Randy, thank God, and, and he helps me out. You two are single. Mm -hmm. We want to know what to do with our money. You were googling. What did you find? I was not well. I actually found, and I want you to do it because I'm not lying. And if you find a better link, I want you to post it, follow our blog. Please, we want to communicate because this is our journey, men included. You're welcome. I Googled Latinas and money. That's what you have to type in, Latinas and money. Stop it. Every single, for two pages, it was Latinas have sex for money. It was all oh. porn sites and how <laughs> Latinas get on all fours. And oh. there was this, this one site. So I'm sorry, I had a moment of just wanting to curse him out. The big heading on the website is how to find, no, how to avoid a bad and find a good Hispanic woman. Absolutely not. No. I think we should That's what to came off essence. with Latinas and money. And I just know that there's got to be, I know there are intelligent women, period, Latinas, African-American, Asian, and, and besides Susan Gorman, and besides all of these Oprah fabulousness, there's got to be other women just like you, just like me, just like Chanel, and just like Vanessa. And I would love for you to send us a message, blog us, tell me how I can keep my microphone, and maybe I should have your friend hook me <laughs> up. <laughs> And when's your, is your birthday coming up? No, but yeah. Christmas is. Christmas, oh, there you Christmas. go. Christmas. <laughs> you know who you are. I know you. Microphone keeps falling. So thank you for joining us. <laughs> I need help. We're talking about money. We need help. Economy is a horrible thing, but you know what? Let's laugh about it and start a whole new friendship and follow us on this journey. Thank you so very much for watching. We, we want it all. all. Did it fall off? It stayed. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Still need new ones. <laughs> <laughs>